alert everybody and point out some of the colors that are going away. Um, I took them off my ring. Hugs to you too. Um, I took them off my ring and of course we know that the in colors are going away. Peekaboo Peach, Emerald Envy. Yeah, no, and I'm, I'm getting better. I have to say, you know, this is not, you know, I'm not paid by this company or whatever, but I have been on Mucinex for the last couple of days and it's really, really helping. Hey, Sarah. Um, so the colors that are going away and um, they're really great colors. They mix with a lot of existing colors. Um, they're, they mix with a lot of colors that are going away. So I just wanted to, hey, Robbie, um, if you're into purples, these are kind of all the purples that are leaving. And I, again, just want to really highlight. Um, and I wanted to just put the colors out here like this so that you could see how they all interrelate. And if you're into color, if you're into watercoloring, um, this is just a neat way of looking at it um, in terms of colors. I mean, look at the colors actually are nice together too, but I'll put this over in the blues. Um, I'll put the rose red there. Um, Island Indigo is going away. Super sad. Super, super sad. Island Indigo. Such a gorgeous color. Oh, look at that with the peekaboo peach. So we've got some greens that are going away. We've got, I guess we'll move them all down. Who knew I was going to be going up. Um, let's put that one there. We've got another green here. We'll put this green here. And then we've got this pink. Um, and to just look at them in relation to each other. Now, one of the things that um, I've been struggling with is the new in colors and how they're really kind of primary. But I also wanted to show you about that too. So I have all my new colors on the ring. Let me just show you, let me move these around here. Um, so these are all the colors that are going away. So if you like any of these colors, definitely check out Happy House Creates. Stop stamping up. Oh, definitely check out happyhousecreates.stampinup.net and you can scoop them up. The ink pads, the reinkers, the paper, any of the 12 by 12, it's all going away and it's first come, first serve. So um, if you're into the blues and any of these greens, definitely scoop them up now. Um, no, I'm just going for a cleaning. So that being said, um, I'm gonna put them away and if I had a lot more time, I would I would lay them next to each other. But the colors that are coming out are much more intense, much more vibrant, um, and overall just a lot brighter in hue. Um, these are the new in colors that are coming and these are the existing in colors. So I want to just point out, and I'm going to put them in some different orders here. So let's put that there. Let's put this over here. Let's put that there. That's pretty. Actually, the in colors, I'm done with that one. So here. So now you're seeing, if you already had the, the other in colors, these five, now you can see them in relation to the new ones. I mean, look at that um, lipstick red, the new red next to lemon lime twist. Won't that be beautiful for Christmas time? And then, you know, you put some of this, which I don't know the name of it, but look at those three for Christmas time. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that is just super pretty. So you look at some of that and then you look at this fresh fig and um, maybe you're into landscapes so you can put it with with that together, you, you look at these three together. So I want everybody to really not look at this line of colors in isolation, but to start thinking about it in terms of citrus, that color combination right there. Yes, but you know what? I have to say that I'm guilty of just looking at this row in isolation and being like, oh, I feel like I'm back in grade school and I'm not impressed. But once I started playing with them in this way, I was a lot happier. So again, we have, um, you know, oh gosh, what a great guy card that will be right there. Call me Clover. Thank you, Michaela. 
Um, so this is cherry cobbler with the new, and I think it's blueberry something. Um, so that's that. And we have, um, let's see. Oh my gosh, look at the lipstick with the old olive. And this is pumpkin pie and how pumpkin pie yeah. acts with the grapefruit. Um, here is rich razzleberry. Rich razzleberry goes great with the clover. Um, so I just wanted to to point out, bring the colors off their ring and um, let you know that there's always going to be these neutrals up here. And, um, you know, the colors are fabulous. And we already knew that the Mossy Meadow worked great with the um, Cherry Cobbler. But look at the Moss Meadow with the lipstick and the um, Old Olive. That's going to be a really fun combination. And then you put the pineapple together with the Mossy Meadow. Do you see what's happening to this row of colors that you originally thought was primary? It all of a sudden comes alive. Now this is the new Merlot. Put the Merlot next to the Old Olive. I think that's really gorgeous. I think that color is also equally gorgeous with the Mossy Meadow. So let's put that down there. Um, we have all of these wonderful um, grays, but now we have this in-between gray as well, and that's going to be fabulous. Like, I love gray and the cherry cobbler. I think those combinations are just awesome. Look at the gray with the cherry cobbler and the old olive. Super. Now we're going to get into this Merlot color with the new granite color, but look at the new in color with the new um, lighter shade of blue we have. Those two together look great. And a lot of these combinations to me are really working towards um, some guy cards. Of course, we have our wonderful oh. Bermuda Bay. You put that here next to the pineapple. You put it with the grapefruit and we get um, the mellow. Again, we have some awesome citrus colors. These are beautiful colors. So we put that back over there. Um, we have more yellows. Oh, I was wrong, that wasn't, that's the Bermuda Bay. I'm getting confused, sorry. But look at that with the, the pineapple. Um, this is, oh, I'm getting confused with my colors. I want, that's Melon Mambo, that goes out of there. That's the grapefruit. Here's our um, Pacific Point next to the pineapple, Calypso Coral. With the pineapple, here's Calypso Coral with the clover. I think that's wonderful. Um, here's Calypso Coral with the clover and the grapefruit. I think that's fun. I think these two colors are really, really wonderful tone on tone. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun there as well as over in this area. Um, let's see, here is the mango. Oh my word. The mango with the pineapple with the lemon lime twist. So again, if we, when you first look at these colors, if you're not overly impressed, give it a minute. Look at the mango with the Calypso Coral. So, you know, there's so many amazing shades here. Um, here's our Flirty Flamingo. You put the Flirty Flamingo with the um, Bermuda Bay and the Pool Party and the Pineapple. Here's the new Poppy. Look at how that pops, that combination. Look at how, um, oh my gosh, Calypso Coral and the Poppy and the Mango. I think that's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, this, oh, I love it. Look at those colors, oh, and then we got the, the Mossy Meadow. It pulls it all in. This color combination right here is magnificent for a card. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then, of course, we have, you know, the, the new purple. Here's one of the new purples. Here's another one of the new purples. We put the purple with the lemon lime twist. We put the purple with the poppy. We put the purple with the mango. The purple with the new grapefruit. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And the pumpkin pie. I love it with the mango. Love, love, love what's going on there. So are you guys getting what I'm throwing down? There are so many beautiful colors here and um, the, it, it's, it's infinite, 
infinite. Here is the new, um, let's see, this is mint macaron. So this color we already know is fabulous and can go in the greens. Like look at how well it blends over here. And then we can bring it into the blues and look at how well it blends over here. So it just, it can go in either direction and then you put it with the grays and it's also great. Um, and it actually even goes over here if you needed a little bit of blue. So it's really super great to play with that. So this is the new sea foam, and oh, just a tint. It's just super fun. Um, here's the pinks. Now there is a shade difference here. There are different colors. One's a little more peachy, one's a little more dusty, and one's a little bit of the light. So that's super cool. And then when you put them, you know, around this Merlot and the um, Cherry Cobbler, I think that lends some really good, fun things to play with. Here's our Pear Pizzazz. So again, it's in the greens, but it goes great with those yellows. Here's Saffron. Again, the Saffron with the greens, the Saffron with the purples. We have our Real Red, which um, they're, they're close, but this is a little bit more pinky, and this is a little bit more red. And, of course, we have our keys, um, which could actually go with one of the pinks. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. I want to say it's probably the new one, but I'm going to have to play with that a little bit. Um, oh, the Cajun Craze with the mango is gorgeous. The Cajun Craze with, with um, I think if this is Fresh Fig. That looks great with the new teals, with the greens over here. That's a nice combo, all of that over there. And then we have our rich razzleberry, um, which, you know, can go with any of the greens, can go with the purples, um, can go with the blues, um, rich razzleberry and the melon mom. So I really encourage you to make swatches, have individual cards like this and just play. Thank you all so much. Um, I hope this was really helpful. And um, I just, I, I believe in color. I believe in play. I believe in creativity. And, um, you know, you, you just can't go wrong when you start with all these wonderful colors. So please share, subscribe, and follow to Happy House Creates on all social media platforms. I'm on Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube, you can always find me by just typing in Happy House Creates at Google or any of the social platforms. Um, my name is Jody. I'm a master's level art therapist and a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You might want to think about joining my team. Now is a great time. All You get up to $125 worth of products for $99. You can have all kinds of fun with mixed media. You can do Bible journaling. You can do traditional cards. You can play with color. You can give gifts. You can be frugal and take a piece of 12 by 12 piece of paper and make a bunch of cards um, and you can build a business and drive around town and encourage your love of creativity. Thanks for joining me everybody. Create from within and go get crafty today.